10 Best Things to Do in Thunder Bay, Ontario Northwestern Ontario's largest city, Thunder Bay sits along Lake Superior, giving it its nickname the Lakehead. The city is the bridge between the prairies of Canada and the Atlantic Ocean, and the gateway to the region. Thunder Bay is arguably the most visited city in all of Northern Ontario, as it has so much to offer. There is something for everyone here, from magnificent natural scenery to fascinating historic architecture. Outdoor lovers, shopaholics, foodies and historians will all enjoy holidaying in the city. Regardless of what you are after, these are the 10 best things to do in Thunder Bay. See a sleeping giant. Not literally, but a mesa and sill formation that is named the sleeping giant, because it looks like a giant sleeping on its back. The best views are seen from the cliffs at Squaw Bay. The Sleeping Giant is one of the top seven wonders of Canada. It is located within the Sleeping Giant Provincial Park, which has the most dramatic and steep cliffs in Ontario. The park itself also has plenty to do, including fishing, cycling, hiking and camping. In fact, there are over 200 campsites throughout the park. Surround yourself in greenery. The 263-hectare Current River Greenway sits along the Current River in the north end of the city. The massive green area is a great place to go to get away from it all and enjoy the scenery. There are a number of areas within the Greenway, including Birch Point Park, Current River Park and Evergreen Park. It also features a conservation area, Cascades Conservation Area, with hiking trails and beautiful landscapes. You can also enjoy some magnificent views at the Greenway's Bluff Scenic Lookout, which is open all year. As well, there is also a sandy beach, a playground and picnic tables at the Boulevard Lake Park. Be entranced at a waterfall. The 40 meters cascade in Kakabika Falls is truly a place to be completely lost in the beauty of it all. The waterfall is located 30 kilometers west of Thunder Bay on the Kaministiquia River. The falls have been nicknamed the Niagara of the North due to its size and accessibility. The name Kakabika means waterfall over a cliff in Ajibo. The rock that faces the falls features some of the oldest fossils in existence today, dating back some 1.6 billion years. As a result of the rock sensitivity, there is no entrance to the gorge beneath the falls. Go to the fair. This can only be done in August when the city hosts the Canadian Lakehead Exhibition. The annual fair is great for visitors of all ages, though it is a massive draw for families. Walk around the fair and look at art by regional artisans or shop in its concessions. There is also a midway with games, rides and food stalls. On the grounds of the exhibition are a few buildings that are open year-round. These include the Heritage Building, Coliseum Building, Sports Dome, and a famous player's Silver City Theater. Dine in an iconic restaurant. The Hoido restaurant is the oldest restaurant in Thunder Bay, dating back to 1918. It is also arguably the oldest establishment in the entire country. The restaurant is located on the lower level of the historic Finnish Labour Temple and serves Finnish Canadian cuisine. It is most famous for its Finnish pancakes, which are served with maple syrup, sugar sprinkles or strawberry sauce. The Finnish Labour Temple is also a landmark that was once one of Canada's largest workers' halls. It is designated as a National Historic Site of Canada. Stare at art. Although it is not big, the Thunder Bay Art Gallery is definitely interesting. In fact, it specializes in contemporary work by First Nation artists across northwestern Ontario. The gallery sits on the campus of Confederation College. It not only has a permanent collection, but also hosts traveling exhibitions. The Thunder Bay Art Gallery also works with and promotes the work of both local and regional artists. It features three galleries that change every six weeks. Spend the day in a park. Not only is Centennial Park a park, but it is also a living museum. The park features replicas of 20th century logging camp equipment and homes. In addition to the historic logging camp, Centennial Park also has recreational trails, a craft shop and a playground. There is even an indoor picnic area. In the summer months, you can take a ride on the Muskeg Express train or visit the animal farm. Come in the winter and go cross-country skiing or tobogganing. Go skiing. This is of course only available if you are in Thunder Bay in the winter, although Loch Lomond does offer hiking and mountain biking. Loch Lomond boasts 17 ski runs that are equally divided into beginner, intermediate and advanced. The longest run is 2.4 kilometers, and the highest vertical rise is 229 meters. Whether you are a complete beginner or are used to double black diamond runs, you will enjoy skiing here. You can also go tubing, snowshoeing and fat bike riding. Canoe and Wilderness. Head west out of Thunder Bay to the Quetico Provincial Park, which is renowned for its superb canoeing. The 4,760-square-kilometer wilderness park sits along the southern border of the Superior National Forest. 
Quetico Provincial Park is truly magnificent and offers some of the best canoeing on the planet. It has over 2,000 campsites that are spread throughout 600 lakes, making a true nature lover's paradise. The park is home to some impressive wildlife, and you may spot a moose, bobcat, cougar or black bear. It is also home to raccoons, chipmunks, rabbits, beavers and bald eagles. Walk through a canyon. Also outside of Thunder Bay, Uumut Canyon is around 60 kilometers northeast of the city. The large gorge is 100 meters deep, 150 meters wide, and 2,000 meters long. Walk through the Uumut Canyon and be in awe by the stunning scenery. There are also trails above the canyon that offer magnificent views overlooking it. The canyon is believed to date back a billion years when it was split by advancing glaciers. Nearby is the privately owned Eagle Canyon that boasts a zip line and two footbridges. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos.